Have you ever wondered how a computer made from iron, dirt, rocks, plastics, can help us work, learn and entertain? Such inanimate blocks of metals can play music, analyze tons of data in a blink of an eye and display vivid images and footage. How can computers do such wonderful things? In this video, I'm gonna explain in general terms how a computer made from insentient components can handle extremely complicated algorithms. How does a CPU work? It is for sure that if you Google it, you'll see that a CPU is made up of many transistors. It is convened that the on and off states of the transistors are respectively the digits of 0 and 1. In a computer chip, there are countless transistors which can only be seen clearly under a microscope. The time of every electronic switch is so short that a single beam of light can only travel for less than 2 millimeters at a time. We can consider it as an electronic switch to turn it on or off. As agreed worldwide, the off switch is zero, while the on switch is one. When the computer receives input from a human, it will encode that input into the form of electrical signals. When these electrical signals enter the CPU, the transistors will accordingly be either in off or on state, which has been agreed before as zero and one. As you can see, if a transistor stands alone, it is nothing but an on and off switch defined by 0 and 1 digits, which is basically of no use at all. However, when we integrate these transistors according to a certain rule of logic, it creates electric circuits that know how to calculate. As we can see, with transistors integrated in predefined positions and logical convention, a computer with electric currents can operate mathematical calculations. Basic electric circuits normally consist of two to three transistors. When we integrate these basic circuits, we can have a more complicated circuit for more complicated calculations. As we continue integrating these complicated circuits, we'll have a super smart CPU as we do now. With electric currents, we can operate more mathematical calculations. If you have any other ideas, please comment below for everyone to discuss. Thank you for your attention. Goodbye and see you again.